Hola, friends and family. Again, down here from Costa Rica in Casa do Caribe. Um, this is going to be our humble abode for the next month, and we've been uh, getting a lot of questions about what our house looks like and a few comments on the couple of pictures that we have, but we felt those pictures didn't do it justice. So come on in with us. We'd love to give you a quick tour of that place, and uh, yeah, I'll let you see what it's all about. Come on in. So welcome to the front entrance. So we like to leave our shoes, a nice little welcome mat. And as you can see, it's a very open concept. Okay, it's a little bit different than the open concept we're used to in North America. Uh, everything here is exposed. You come right in from outside, and our dining room area is all, uh, is all open. This, one of my favorite places in the house, is what we call our office. And we got a uh, couple of nice, beautiful hammocks, super comfortable. Um, we spend many an hour just lying here. Um, dreaming of things uh, of the, what we want to do next while we're down here. Around the corner we do have an outdoor shower and a little outdoor tub. Um, both very useful for coming back from the beach and getting the sand off so we don't clog up the internal plumbing. Uh, and then around the back is a storage shed, washing machine and uh, laundry stuff, uh, as well as um, all the electrical stuff and all of the uh, hot water on demand tanks. So we go back there if we need to ever touch anything up. In here, see it's got a separate lock. This way we can keep stuff in here nice and safe overnight or while we're gone. But we've got our kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. And as you can see, it comes pretty well furnished. It's got a fridge, full microwave, stove, gas stove, and oven. On the side, same thing, it comes with everything we'd need. Rice cookers, skillets, coffee maker, blenders, and all of the pots and pans that we would need as well. And of course all of our cutlery and dishes. Uh, so this is where we get to prepare all our meals and uh, get all of our food set up for us while we're down here. So come with me, we'll take a little tour down this way. Our first bathroom is just in here. Uh, full bathroom, it's got a shower, toilet, um, and sink. Uh, and very nice. Uh, we'll skip that. We'll take a look at the one upstairs as well. It's a little nicer. Uh, this is our little sitting room. Uh, you may have watched our first video, and this is where we uh, shot that. Got a nice couch. As you may have noticed up on the walls, we've got some beautiful artwork. Even on the tables, all the woodwork is phenomenal. Not sure if it'll turn up there on the video, but you can see that hopefully that there's a dolphin carved into the top of this table. There's just little things like that throughout the whole house. It just make it feel really, really welcoming. So, come on over this way a little bit further. You can see we've got our, uh, our dining table there, and then we can sit down here. We tend to usually just use the breakfast bar, but the, uh, the big table is really nice if we uh, were ever to have more people down here. Uh, a little bit of uh, reading for us. Uh, is left by other tourists, we assume. Um, they're all English books, so uh, we've taken a couple to start reading. And then behind me here is our bike storage. Um, so we've got three bikes here that we have access to, and there's a couple more older ones around the back as well. Um, so we've been using these to get into town. It's definitely the most uh, useful mode of transportation around here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a big gate here. Um, it's unlocked right now, so I can just reach behind and pull it in, but it allows us to lock it at night or when we're gone and keep everything upstairs more or less safe. So come on up, take a look upstairs. As you can see, beautiful hardwood. Um, it's all made from local, uh, local trees and local wood here in Costa Rica. And again, lots of beautiful artwork uh, along the way. We've got our beautiful uh, bat, uh, bat rake. Uh, we use it if we ever need to, uh, to keep the bats out or to get them out if they work their way inside. As you around the corner here up the stairs, we'll make it onto our terrace up here on the second floor. Uh, again, beautiful out to uh, your right, my left. We've got beautiful rainforest and jungle behind us, um, lots of privacy, and uh, you can definitely hear the monkeys calling us uh, there every morning. So follow me in here. This is our first bedroom. This is the bedroom I'm staying in this week, or this month. Um, as you can see, it's gorgeous, beautiful electric fans above the bed, which is nice for keeping us cool. There's also a couple other fans around the, um, around the property that we can use if we need to. Um, great closets, lots of space for us to put stuff. Um, also came with all of our bedding and all our towels, which is a huge help. 
um, and stuff we wouldn't have to, uh, don't have to pack down with us. So it saves us some space. Um, the windows do close. They can be closed and locked. Um, and they are full wooden shutters. So, um, so you can shut them and be pretty secure in here as well. Um, we like to keep them open to keep them nice and cool inside. We do shut them at night to keep the bugs out and the bats out. As you can see as well, there's no better motivation than big bugs, mice, and snakes to keep a bedroom really clean. <laughs> so come on in. This is the uh, second bathroom that we were talking about. Again, full bathroom, toilet, sink, nice shower, great pressure, and great control on the temperature as well. We do have a hot water on demand tank that gives us everything we need as far as hot water goes. Through here, we've got our second bedroom. This is where Andrew's staying this month. Okay. Also very nice. Also has the electric fan above the bed. Okay. Little desk area you saw there. Uh, and again, the bench and lots of artwork to make you feel right at home. This place is definitely set up for tourists as well. There is a safe um, on the property for us to keep all of our valuables in when we're gone or we don't want to carry them with us. Um, we're not going to point it out today for obvious reasons, but it is a, um, it's a huge help and gives us a lot of security here uh, as well. Come on out. Kind of the last stop on the tour is this terrace. Um, if you look out this way, you can see our backyard with beautiful banana trees and um, and some other trees that we're not quite sure what they are over there in the background, and then definitely some uh, palm trees as well. This terrace is great. We like to hang out here in the morning time. Um, the house back there is where the Wi-Fi router is hooked up, so that's the way we get to upload all our videos to you guys get all our pictures online and communicate with friends and family back home. Uh, so we like to spend our time out here. We can also get the connection down in the hammocks, which is ideal. Uh, as you can see, we also have our clothesline set up here. And you don't have to go through the bedrooms and bathroom like we did to get to this side. You can also take this little walkway around here. On behalf of Andrew and I from down here in beautiful Costa Rica, it's been great getting to show you guys our place and uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned and we get to do some more videos for you guys. If there's anything that you would like to see or have questions about, definitely leave comments down below. We'd love to answer them for you guys. Take care. Love you all lots. We'll talk to you soon.